India is on the move. Driven by aspirations of economic growth and powered by its youthful energy. And behind this phenomenal rise of the new India is the contribution of rural India. The growth of rural India is in fact powered by specialist institutions. The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development is a sterling example of such specialist institutions in the development story of the nation. Come, let us take you on the journey of Nabad on the canvas of rural India, a journey of several milestones. Nabad was set up on 12th July 1982 as India's Apex Development Bank for serving the development aspirations of rural India. It started out as a refinancing institution for rural credit, but over the years has branched into multiple sectors related to the rural economy. This expansion is a testimony to the diverse demands of rural India and the ability of Nabad to match the same through policy planning and project execution. It all started with refinance, a tool for giving Philip to both short-term credit and long-term capital investments in agriculture. Nabad took up a scientific approach for understanding and assessing the credit requirements of Indian agriculture. It developed credit planning systems to maximize credit flow. In the recent years, new generation financial products have been introduced by Nabad in association with RBI, such as the Rupee Kisan credit cards. Refinancing long-term agricultural projects for capital formation has been a continued theme. Nabad, with the help of its technically qualified staff, developed model schemes for diverse sectors like animal husbandry, plantation and horticulture. At Nabad, we realized early on that development of rural infrastructure is critical for rural development. It has the power to spark local economies. The Rural Infrastructure Development Fund, RIDF, set up with Nabad in 1995, has today blossomed into one of the largest channels for funding infrastructure projects in rural India. It has supported investments in areas like irrigation, rural roads, bridges and modern warehousing facilities, among others. Irrigation is often called the very lifeline of Indian agriculture. The Long-Term Irrigation Fund established in Nabad by the Government of India is one of the most ambitious mechanisms in the history of Indian agriculture. Its main aim is to ensure timely execution of incomplete irrigation projects. Post-harvest management through creation of adequate storage capacity has emerged as a huge national priority in the recent years. Nabad's financial support has led to creation of modern storage space and enabled price discovery for farmers. Promotion of best practices in farm and off-farm sector is embedded in Nabad's mandate. It is perhaps the only institution in the country to have established and continued the tradition of building domain-specific funds. The Farm Sector Promotion Fund facilitates transfer of technologies to boost agricultural production, while the Watershed Development Fund and Tribal Development Fund support soil and moisture conservation and productivity enhancement leading to better livelihoods. Nearly 1,800 projects have been supported across 1.9 million hectares in 22 states under Watershed Development Fund. The Tribal Development Fund has reached deep into the tribal heartlands to introduce suitable fruit trees, intercrops, microirrigation, agro-processing and organized marketing. About 600 TDF projects in 26 states have benefited half a million tribal families. The Indian farmer is typically a small farmer with a tiny land parcel. This translates into small marketable surplus and inadequate returns for his produce. 
Nabad sees formation of farmer collectives as a solution to this quagmire. A hundred and fifty thousand farmers' clubs have been set up by Nabad in association with banks and NGOs across India to act as catalysts of change. Alongside, there is a determined effort being made to set up farmer producers' organizations for efficient input purchase and marketing of their produce. Global warming is a new reality of our times. Nabad is aware of the impact it can have on agriculture and has evolved models which are in sync with ecology. It has earned the accreditation of being a National Implementing Entity NIE, under national and international climate finance funding mechanisms for overall project implementation and monitoring of the climate change projects in India. An old Indian saying states that gods reside where women are respected. At Nabad, we have cherished women empowerment as a major organizational objective and made it a central theme of every development project. Not surprisingly, our flagship project in this area, the Nabad SHG Bank Linkage Program, is today the largest microfinance program in the world, covering more than 95 million poor rural households. In the new digital world, Nabad has initiated a project to bring self-help groups on a digital platform called eShakti. Under the Financial Inclusion Fund, Nabad has undertaken financial literacy campaigns through various stakeholders in rural India. The fund has also been used extensively to propagate financial technology among the resource-poor banks. Another silent revolution started by Nabad running across India is the Joint Liability Groups program, which enables farmers and oral lessees to access farm credit even though they are not title holders of the land. Over 2 million joint liability groups have been promoted and credit dispersals to these groups have seen a consistent rise. Off-farm sector holds the future for a significant portion of rural communities. Nabad has evolved several refinance and promotional schemes for the development of off-farm sector in response to ground level requirements skill development and promoting entrepreneurial culture among the rural youth have been key components of NABAD support. Alongside, NABAD provides marketing opportunities to rural artisans and producers by sponsoring their participation in exhibitions across the country. Rural financial institutions are a vital ingredient of India's growth story and Nabad sees them as a critical part of the Indian rural credit system. Each year, Nabad undertakes nearly 300 inspections of rural financial institutions across the country and in the process helps them develop sound banking practices. Alongside, Nabad works steadfastly towards building their internal capacities and bringing professionalism into their organizations and operations. Nabad has brought more than 200 cooperative banks with nearly 7,000 branches across the country fully into the CBS platform through cloud computing. This will ensure government subsidies and payments directly into the bank accounts of its customers. Taking up such a diverse portfolio of responsibilities requires matching infrastructure internally. Nabad works through a nationwide network of regional offices to meet these challenges. At the district level, district development managers of Nabad work with stakeholders ranging from informal groups to district administration to banks, while the regional offices are the biggest partners in progress of their respective state governments. Being the Apex financial institution and being a developmental financial institution, you have to work with various entities to solve problems of farmers, agriculture, rural development. And NABAD has seamlessly worked with state governments, 
central government, non-governmental organizations, as well as some of the people's representatives uh, in, in, in panchayats, etc., to carry the mandate of development forward. This endeavor for developing rural areas as per their aspirations, we have large number of youth, so demanding a lot of new things in rural development. And we are gearing NABARD and the entire rural credit system for effective delivery, for fulfilling rural aspirations and enhancing farmers' income. There is a belief that the banyan tree is great not because of its trunk but because of its offshoots. NABARD stands by this belief and by its partners who enable it to reach out to rural India. State governments with their line departments, banks, multilaterals, bilaterals, NBFCs, over 4,000 civil society organizations, nearly 150,000 farmers' clubs, universities and corporates who share NABAD's vision of rural prosperity. But our most important partnership is with those whom we seek to help. The millions of rural Indians who dream of equal opportunities and economic prosperity. These dreams and their fulfillment have been the pole stars of our enriching journey. NABAD, Development Bank of the Nation for fostering rural prosperity.